Hey guys, welcome back to Breffington. I'm super excited for today's video and you should too because today we're doing a baby update. So a lot of you guys followed me during my pregnancy last year and I had baby Bo on January 13th of 2017 and it's just been a wild ride ever since then. So I haven't done an update on baby Bo in so long just because life, hashtag life happens, hashtag mom life, hashtag so blessed. So now baby Bo is seven months old as of August 13th and he is just so adorable. We love him so much. So being seven months, he has learned to crawl. He is crawling all over and he is sitting up by himself. He still falls down a lot though. Um, he falls backwards onto his big old noggin and it's so sad every single time. Every time he falls over, it's like Ugh! So he is crawling and sitting up and he eats a little bit of solid foods, but I don't feed him enough solid foods. I'm gonna be honest. I am like really failing in the solid food department with this one. I just, I'm gonna start feeding him more solids, but he's old enough to eat it. I just don't feed it to him. <laughs> he is not sleeping through the night yet. He wakes up maybe once or twice, but he is sleeping a lot better than he used to, so we're happy about that. I nurse him at night. I am still nursing him as well as bottle feeding him. So I nurse him about every other feeding. Um, and then he'll, he'll take a bottle and formula, which is really nice for me. He had, he doesn't have any teeth yet, but I think he's starting to get a bottom one. See, honestly, I feel like he's been getting a bottom tooth for like three months now. Every time something happens, like every time he's sad or has a diaper rash or uh, gets a cold and is like all snot nosed and slobbery, it's like, oh, he must be getting a tooth. But guess what? No teeth yet. So he's just a sickly child. I'm gonna let him uh, crawl around for a little bit so that we can talk. Okay, so today's update is kind of a twofer. I'm gonna do a baby update, but I'm also gonna give you my favorite baby gear that we use all the time right now that I absolutely cannot live without. First thing on my list of must-haves with baby Bo, a blankie and a binky. These things have to come with us wherever we go, otherwise he just, he won't go to sleep. Um, I mean, he will fall asleep in the car and stuff without either of these, but these are definite like, when we're walking out the door, he's gotta have a blanket and we have to have a binky because that's just how I function. Um, and, and he does really well with the binky as well and the blankie. So these are the, this is like the soothy blankie or binky that we got from the hospital and I actually found some more on Amazon once we lost the original ones. So I'm gonna link those below for you guys to check out the soothies on Amazon. And then this is just these little swaddle blankies. I don't know what brand it is. These are actually Porter's old ones, so they're really worn down. I don't even have the tag on anymore. I'll try and find it for you guys where I got these. I haven't swaddled him lately because he's getting so old, but I swaddled Bo super tight um, up until recently. And so these are really good for that because they're, um, they're not super stretchy like some of the knit blankets you'll find, but I don't know, it just worked really well. I'm, I've grown accustomed to using these kinds and I love them and they're really thin, great for summertime. Next on our list for baby bow must-haves is our, uh, whatever this thing is called, nose sucker. We call it the nose sucker or bulb syringe, bulb, bulb syringe, I think that's what they're called. This is like an extra large one. The one they gave us at the hospital is really teeny tiny because obviously their nose are tinier. I am like a wizard with this thing. I can get any boogers out of anywhere with, with this thing in hand. They say you should only be using them for like like a couple weeks and then have to like, re, like swap them out for a clean one. I haven't really ever swapped mine out, so. We'd heard about these. Uh, I don't even know. Oh, the nose Frida. So I got one of these when he was first born because I always wanted to try it out. And it just, I just didn't like using it. And because of it, you put it in their nose and you, you suck it up. I would just like run out of breath. It would like wear me out <laughs> when I was trying to get the boogers out. And so this never really stuck with us, but I know a lot of people like to use this. So um, I'm gonna link this down below too if you guys wanna check that out on Amazon. And yes, so nose sucker, we really liked having a round. Also because this kid, he is like a sickly child. He's always got a cold, he's always got a cough. He's had three ear infections. Um, he had a really bad diaper rash. He's just, he's all over the place. So in that same vein, that segues nicely into my next must have for Bo. So this is our thermometer, our thermometer that we got. When Bo got his first double ear infection, when he was like maybe barely three months, we were kind of freaking out. Our friend had one of these. It's like, um, 
It's an electric one and you just like swipe it across the forehead and it tells you what their temperature is. Uh oh. Okay, I'm gonna have him on my lap because he's getting into everything. So this is the comfort scanner. We got it um, at like Walgreens. It's a little bit expensive, but I don't know. I just really liked it. So you just like, you click the button and you drag it across the forehead and it tells you what your temperature is. Anyway, really, really like this. Used it a ton. And I feel like if you invest in these good quality baby products early on, especially if you're planning on having more kids, you will definitely uh, use them and, and, and get your money's worth with them. Next on our list of must-haves is a baby bottle. I just use these cheapo baby bottles. My kids, I've been super lucky with. They haven't really had any like tummy issues or gas issues. Um, so I could just get these cheap bottles and wear them out because they work and my kids like them and they're really thin, easy to hold, really cheap. So these are like first essential baby bottles. Oh, there's Bo. Okay, so speaking of fussy babies, baby toys are a big deal around here. We've got lots of big kid toys and actually one of our big kid toys has been a wonder for him. He loves it. My mom got these little like suction cup toys um, for Porter and Bo loves them. He will like just chew on them and suck on them all the time, all day long. So they come with a bunch of these on like different lengths of like gooby wire. Here you go, you can have that back. They're super rubbery and then they come with a bunch of these little ones. So these are called squigs. A really fun thing about this is when we're at restaurants, we will like suction them to the table and he can't get them off. And so he's there playing with it and it can't come off the table. And it was like, when we figured that out, it was just, it was amazing. We could eat our food and he could play with the toy. Everyone was happy. So we really like these, Bo really likes them too. They're a fun little toy if you want something new for your baby. And your big kids, they can all play with them together. All right, last thing on my list for today is my diaper bag. I recently got this diaper bag from Amazon. It is a Maman New York bag. It's okay. Zach's gonna be so ticked when he sees this video because I got this a little while ago thinking it was gonna be like the best bag and I always buy things and I don't end up liking them. I like this bag. I like that it's a backpack because I really needed a backpack. Come to find out after I had Bo, I wanted just a shoulder like tote, but I needed like full functioning arms for three kids. So I got this backpack. Um, things that I need in a diaper bag are side, um, I need side pockets for my water bottles. Kind of pocket, the, really that's the only thing I really wanted was side pockets for my water bottle because that's like what I definitely need for myself and then a place for all my stuff so it has like this little pocket in the front but it doesn't open very well. Anyway, so I just got this plain black one with the like the brown leather um, accents on it because I don't know, I was in the mood for a black bag and I got it. The nice thing about this one is that the back the very back um, flat pocket where you put like the changing pad and stuff is big enough to fit my computer. So I'm looking forward to that when we have to fly somewhere next, I can put my computer in my diaper bag. So two thumbs up for that. Otherwise, not my favorite bag. If you guys have a favorite bag, be sure to tell me in the comments because I'm still searching. All right guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching our baby update on Baby Bo. And thanks for clicking the subscribe button right here. Go ahead and click this button wherever it is. And don't forget to check out our other videos that I have on my channel. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I would much appreciate it. And if no one has told you you're awesome today, let me be the first to say you're awesome. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.